How to install Jenkins on Ubuntu 24.04. Here's today's starting point. I have a fresh installation of Ubuntu 24.04. I've gone ahead and done a full update so all of the packages are fully up to date. The first thing that we're going to need to do is install Java on this machine. I've chosen to use the Timurin distribution, so let's go over to that documentation. We're looking at a dev installation on either Debian or Ubuntu, and we're going to follow these steps. So we'll go ahead and copy our apt install, make sure all the prerequisites are already installed. We're good to go there. Let's go ahead and download the GPG key. And then finally, let's go ahead and set up the repository. Now for my instance, I can either choose to install Java 17 or Java 21. I'm going to choose Java 21. So first up, we'll go ahead and do our apt update to make sure everything is ready to go from a repository perspective. We can see that the Adoptium repository is there. Let's go ahead and do an apt install. We'll copy this, but I'm gonna change the 17 to a 21. Do we want to go ahead and install this? We'll say yes. Now that the installation is complete, let's make sure Java is installed. So we'll say java-version. And we can see that we have version 21 installed. Next up, we need to install Jenkins. So let's go over to Jenkins.io. We'll click on the download link. That'll take us to the download and deploy page. Under the stable side of this page, let's go down to the Ubuntu Debian link. We'll click into that, and we can see that we need to follow some steps here. Similarly to what we did with Java, we're going to first get our key installed. So we'll copy this wget, paste it in. Next, we'll go ahead and create our apt repository for Jenkins. Next up, we'll do our apt update, and then we'll do our apt install. So we'll go ahead and say apt update. We should see the Jenkins repository show up in the list. That's right here at the bottom. And now we're ready to go ahead and say apt-y install Jenkins. Now that Jenkins is installed, let's see what state the service is in. So we'll say systemctl-full status Jenkins. We can see that it's currently loaded and running but I want to make some changes to the configuration for startup. So we'll first need to go ahead and stop the service and then make our changes. So we'll quit out of this. Let's go ahead and say systemctl stop Jenkins. Let's double check and see what the status is right now. We can see that it's inactive. The default text editor for Ubuntu 24.04, in my case, is Nano, but I don't really like using Nano. I prefer Vim. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my editor to be Vim. So I'm gonna say update, alternatives, dash dash config, editor. And I'm going to select number three for Vim Basic. And now I can go ahead and get started making the configuration change. Again, we've already stopped the service. So now I'm going to say systemctl edit Jenkins. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the configuration that I want to use and put it in between the anything between here and this comment here. And that will be our configuration to run our Jenkins service. I've already got a configuration that I want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in. I have the service block set, and I have two environments, one for Java Ops and one for Jenkins Ops. Inside the Java Ops, we're setting a tempter that we will need to create. And then in Jenkins Ops, I'm setting up a plugin root directory so that when plugins are extracted, instead of extracting into the plugins directory within the Jenkins home, it's going to extract into Varcash Jenkins. So let's go ahead and save this. Now notice the response that we got back when we saved it successfully installed the edited file into override.conf. And what does that mean? Well, let's go back over and take a look at systemctl dash dash full status Jenkins. What we can see now under drop in is the override comp file that was just referenced here after doing our systemctl edit. So all of those configurations are in an override comp file that will be used by the service when the service is started. Now, before we can start the service, we still need to create that temp directory. So we'll go ahead and create the temp directory inside of Varcash Jenkins. Now, since I'm root, I need to change the ownership of that temp directory because Varcash Jenkins is owned by Jenkins colon Jenkins. So we'll paste in our chone line, and now everything is set up for that. We've checked our status. We've seen our override comp file. Two more things before we start up the service. If I type system CTL show Jenkins, we're going to see all of the different parameters that systemd is going to use to control the service. Finally, let's type in systemd analyze verify Jenkins.service. Since we did not get a response back, that tells me that systemd believes that the service is healthy and should be able to start up without any issues. 
So let's go ahead and start the service. We'll say systemctl start Jenkins. Let's go ahead and check our status again. Systemctl dash dash full status Jenkins. We'll notice under the C group line where we see our user bin Java, if we scroll right, we're going to see all of the different parameters that we set when we did our systemctl edit. If we scroll all the way to the right, we'll see our plugin root definition as well. So that's our start line for the Jenkins process. We'll also see a snippet of the log. If we wanted to take a fuller look at the log, we can type journal ctl u Jenkins. And we can scroll down, scroll right to see all of the information about our controller. Now let's go ahead and set up the controller. I'm going to need this password in order to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it from here. Let's quit out. Let's go over to our browser. We'll go over to the instance. Let's go ahead and paste in that password that we just copied. Select Install Suggested Plugins. Let's create our first admin user. Confirm that our instance URL is correct. And then click on Start Using Jenkins. Now we're ready to go ahead and start creating our agents, creating our jobs, and start using Jenkins. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBeast TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.